Hello ladies and gentlemen, we have another Pokemon Black and White Texture Hack match right here. And uh, another match with Vivlo, as I did mention, you know, these are kind of a surprise as to when they're going up. This one's going up today. This is actually the uh, third match we had. Second match, just like, I don't know what was going on with the second match. I was just like, I was doing, I was just throwing stuff out the window, I think, or something, because I was definitely not playing that game. This game is a little bit closer, but as you'll see, Primate still manages to be a major pain in the buttocks in, as early game stuff, and so the Primate's going to go for U-turn first turn. Yeah, kind of, you know, standard thing to do as I go for the Thunder Wave. And unfortunately, I did, uh, you know, have to, we did have to force different leads because, you know, obviously first leads and I actually don't know what why that became a standard thing to do was just switch leads or something like that, but <clears throat> it just became a standard thing to do when you have a rematch with the same teams. I uh, guess yeah, so I'm gonna be able to get the sun and go for the solar beam and uh pretty much, you know, take out the Lux Ray pretty pretty easily actually. So down goes the Luxray, and it was poisoned by the Toxic Orb, which is no big deal. It just makes it really, really powerful. Now, clearly this thing has some kind of way to take out Executor, as I'm fearing with, like, Ice Beam or something. So I'm going to switch here. I did not, however, expect the explosion. That was a bit of an interesting thing. I guess it is, like, a lead. It was a lead lately, so, you know, it kind of makes sense. And Simi said just going to go for the Giga Drain. He was... A Surprised that this didn't KO, and then I pointed out the fact that even with Stab, Giga Drain's not as powerful as Focus Blast. And so, basically, that's why I survived. Managed to get up my Stealth Rocks. Probably shouldn't have let my other Heat Rock, Sunny, Sunny Day user, go down so quickly, but I figured I was, you know, sailing high or something. And actually, that Simi, Simi Sage actually ends up being a huge threat. But the whole, the whole issue was this Prime Ape, I'm not even going to lie. Like, Primeape is just too, I swear, it's too darn powerful for any of you, but I guess, you know, people figure it's not that powerful in RU anymore, so it's not a big, big threat, and obviously he's sacking stuff to try and make the sun run out, and so I'm going to go ahead and let him do the sacking of stuff, get rid of the Seismitoad, as I get it. He made a bulky Seismitoad, believe it or not, because it has, you know, it took a, it took a nice chunk of damage in the first game. From something that should have done plenty of damage. And now Launcher's gonna come in. I don't really want to switch anything. Um, and also this team's really Haunter weak, which is kind of strange, but, you know. And obviously his Life Orb would not Scarf, so that's going to come in handy for me, because that means my Charizard can outspeed him, and I'm gonna go for the sub secret. Like, I thought he was gonna try and save this Haunter or something, rather than just leave it in the Dying Brilliant Simi Sage. So I wasted my health there. And probably could have used the health a little bit better some other place, but it doesn't matter because the Simi Sage has Hidden Power Rock because apparently he hates Charizard, even though Charizard's really not that great of a Pokemon as it is because, you know, Charizard really can't do that much. Let's be honest, Charizard after Stealth Rocks um, just, you know, doesn't do fantastic, but I mean, what are you going to do? And so, yeah, Hidden Power Rock obviously is going to KO me. Probably would KO me at full health unless, you know, I had a Focus Sash or something. And Focus Blast right here. And he swears if I didn't bring in my uh, Saul's Book first that I would have won this. Because he would have Leaf Stormed, or would have been forced to Leaf Storm my Sock as a Giga Drain's clearly not going to KO. However, I was quick to point out the fact that, you know, Saul's Book doesn't have the best defenses and probably would have still died from a minus two Focus Blast regardless. I guess we'll never know, but this is going to be the end of the first, or I mean the second match. As you can see, it's a pretty quick one. Uh, make sure you guys go check out Vivolo's channel. Channel He is uploading a lot more than he used to, so yeah, definitely worth checking him out, and uh, we'll see you guys later.